Okay guys, so we're back for part dos of video reaction. We're gonna take a nice look at back when I did my first TV guestings, which includes interviews with Tito Boy, Vice Ganda. Um, it's been a really long time since I've actually seen these interviews myself, so I'm kind of nervous to see what I said back then. But you know, let's just have some fun with it um, and let's go take a look. I'm really worried about what I was wearing in this interview because this was some time ago. I mean, now I'm rocking hoodie, athleisure, comfortable, but I'm really curious to what I was wearing back then. There's Tito Boy. Welcome to Manila. Thank you for having me. Look at the sharp fit! Jeans are a bit tight though, oh my gosh. And the loafers! Uh. Uh, you are. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, yes, Tito Boy, I have it on my shoulder. Ah, my, my, my voice! My voice is so nasally! I'm pretty pubescent. I mean, I was pretty young here. I mean, look, there's, there's no beard. Younger days, was not never rocking the beard. I don't think I could even grow one back then. <laughs> uh, this must have been actually after I won the race in Monaco and I had a bit of a break, came back to the Philippines, did some promotional tours, media interviews, just to, you know, get the hype up about motorsport because obviously in the Philippines, I mean, as a sport, it's not as big as, let's say, basketball, boxing, um, and other endeavors. Um, so I had to do some promotion, get it up, get the word out. Because you know the Philippines, Filipino drivers, there's there's a lot of good talent out there. So yeah, I mean there's a lot of really just trying to promote and push it. But at the same time, you don't really start earning until you reach the higher levels. That's true. Which is Formula One, basically. Which is Formula One. Yeah, everything's a investment. You really financially, like my parents. I was lucky enough for them to support me in the beginning. Then I found sponsors. Uh, obviously got a Formula 1 team behind me, um, several along the way in my career and that really helped, you know, push towards um, getting as close as we did to the top or to eventually uh, driving a Formula 1 car. I don't know if it's the same for you guys like comment below but watching yourself <coughs> In general, it's just really <laughs> difficult. Sorry, pardon me. That's not Corona, okay, by the way. Let's, let's uh, talk about, <laughs> just felt a little uh, bit of a tickle, but nothing serious. Um, but I have a hard time watching myself um, on TV. So this is kind of like the first time watching this interview in full. And I don't know if it, for you guys, but I feel like I feel it's so weird because I pick up and notice all the little mannerisms that maybe other people don't pick up on and I'm not gonna say them here but I just find it so hard to watch myself because the boy looks the same he looks the same I'm sure if I watch the another interview of his like recently he'll look the same as he does in this here we go fast talk all right this is the fun part love career Career. Sweet or spicy? Spicy. Favorite tire to wear? Uh, favorite city? Manila. OPM song? Bam. Yep. Masaya. Okay, favorite <laughs> place in the Philippines? Uh, my house. Ulam? Uh, I like adobo. I like orange and lemons too. Uh, Joey Marcelo. Your biggest fear? Uh, plane crash. Celebrity? Oh. <laughs> Kate back in the <laughs> Local? Local. Anne Curtis. <laughs> Sexiest part of your body? Uh, my lips. Three girls you find sexiest. One. Uh, Jessica Alba. Again, Anne Curtis, Kim Chu. Okay, three guys you find sexiest. Uh, I've literally said six Bosley, people Brad that I find Brad sexy. Brad. Part of your body that is most or vulnerable. Four. I don't know. <laughs> Too part much. Part of a girl's body you notice first. Uh, her eyes. Wow. If you could be a superhero, last question. From a movie, who would you be and why? I'd say Superman. Why? Uh, because at the same time, he has two costumes. One, that of being a superhero, and also, I think, more of being a human. That's hey. Marlon, that was a great answer at the end. It's nice words from Tito Boy. Marlon Stagenger. Kauna. No, Tito Boy. Kauna. <laughs> So that was super cool actually. So that was one of my first interviews. I'd say most of the answers I did on the fast talk um, were pretty much, would be pretty much the same. I think 
what I realized is as I got older, I'm more comfortable in my skin. So I wasn't really showing much expression there. Um, Cause I am, I am half Swiss. So from my dad's side, I, I get a bit the, the rigid stiff side. Um, and definitely most of my emotions come from my mom. And um, that was pretty fun to watch actually. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at me! You know, me and Matt here, when we did this interview, I think Matt started a bit in triathlon and I wanted to do it also for fitness. So I'm absurdly tan. Side view, front view, back view. In the pool. Oh my gosh. Vice talaga. I said I love you, Pato Vice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> At sa lahat ng mga tao who think that I can't understand Tagalog or can't speak it, I'm pretty decent, okay? Nahiya lang ako. So I'm not gonna talk in Tagalog because I feel like I can't express my thoughts as well as when I do speak in, obviously, Filipino. Um, but I can, and I can understand it fluently. So maybe in the future when I'm more confident with my Tagalog, I will bring it out more. You know what? Seriously, I really want to be your friend. You don't wanna why? No, I said I wanna be your friend. Oh, be your friend. friend. I sound so nasally. I feel like I sound nasally all the time. <laughs> oh, Matt, you're so annoying here, bro. We should exchange numbers later. Zero nine three seven. Zero nine three seven. Two one. Two one. Two one. Two one. Two one. Two one. Will Will you give me your number? You gotta be pakipod. You can't just give it away. Why aren't you sure? It's a uh, long distance, eh? Baka mahal. I'm willing to pay. Uh -oh. I guess that's it, guys. So that's video reactions part two concluded. Um, kind of interesting to see my interviews back then. I was a lot more baby face, clean shaven. Right now, I'm just rocking the lockdown look. But it was a lot of fun. Um, enjoyed those interviews really really well with um, Vice and Tito Boy um, and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video unfortunately I wasn't able to come up with a lot of content because during this quarantine period um, yeah my phone broke and literally went into the black screen of death so I kind of feel bad because I lost a lot of memories content videos that I was creating but we'll be sure to come up with some more soon if you like this video please like and subscribe and we'll take stock next time. Peace guys.